Hello everyone, and welcome to the world of feedback loops. First of all, let's define what feedback loops are. Think of it as a cycle where the output of a system becomes the input, affecting the system's behavior. It's like a game of ping pong, where the ball goes back and forth, influencing the game. Now, let's talk about the different types of feedback loops. There are positive feedback loops and negative feedback loops. Positive feedback loops amplify the effects, like a cheerleader who gets the crowd going wild. On the other hand, negative feedback loops dampen the effects, like a lifeguard who prevents you from drowning. Balancing feedback loops are like a tightrope walker, maintaining stability by keeping things in balance. They make sure that a system doesn't go haywire and keeps things in check. Reinforcing feedback loops, on the other hand, are like a snowball rolling down a hill. They can drive exponential growth or decline in a system. If the snowball gets bigger and bigger, it's a reinforcing feedback loop. If it starts to shrink, it's the opposite. Finally, let's talk about the real-life applications of feedback loops. They're everywhere. From economics to politics, to environmental science, feedback loops play a critical role in understanding complex systems. In conclusion, feedback loops are like an orchestra's conductors, directing a system's behavior. They can promote stability, growth, or decline, and are essential in understanding complex systems.